What is going on guys? Welcome back to CK2 Game of Thrones as King Rhaegar Targaryen. At the end of the last episode I asked you guys what we should do. Who should Rhaenys marry? And I've given you a few options. I've given you the option of Willis Tyrell, uh, Lord Paramount of the Reach, uh, Rickard Stark, Lord Paramount of the North, and heir to the Trident. Uh, you know, eventually Edmure will die without um, any children, and so that's pretty powerful. And then one option I've left out was actually Lance Lannister. He's also technically, uh, you know, important and uh, not yet married, so th that would have been an option as well. But either way, even if I had given this option, I think you guys would have decided uh, for the same thing. And that was marrying Aegon and Rainies together to keep the bloodline pure and now of course there were a few things a few few people who said no you know marry them to Willas or to to the Starks but um I've read your comments and I think the general gist was the following we're gonna marry Aegon to oh I can send him to the wall and the citadel yeah of course I'm not gonna do that we're gonna marry him to Rainies now um this is obviously keeping the bloodline pure and furthermore it um People have suggested marrying Aegon to Visenya because Visenya was actually uh, the first, well, was the first queen of Westeros, and she was actually Aegon's first wife, Aegon the Conqueror's first wife. But here's the thing: uh, I think our Rhaegar just made a little bit of a mistake here because Visenya was also the older daughter. So if we leave out Ori's here, um, this. If this was the Conqueror, right, if, if this was Aegon the Conqueror, then this would be Visenya, and this would be Rhaenys. Rhaenys was the younger sister. Uh, did I say daughter before? I think I did. But anyways, Visenya was the older one, and Rhaenys was the younger one. So, technically, it makes sense to marry the older sister um, of, of Aegon. So, this is what I'm doing. Visenya, however, she is a bastard, but she is going to be legitimized. That will piss off a few people, but... Now that she is known as Targaryen, we can fulfill the Pact of Ice and Fire and betroth Rickard Stark as well as Visenya Targaryen and get the alliance here with one of the most powerful houses, um, you know, at, at some point because they're not only going to rule the North but also the Triton. So incredibly valuable to have them on our side. We have the Dornish on our side. We have... Well, basically the North and the Trident. Uh, John Aaron should be happy that we pressed a claim for him. The Lannisters, well, um, we'll have to find a way to placate them. The Reach, also we need to find a way. And with Stannis in the Stormlands, we have a claim. So if he acts up, we can just revoke it and, you know, start a second Baratheon line because we have an Ori's around. That's basically uh, the plan for now. So let's move forward with these marriages and uh, betrothals in place. There you go. Uh, Rickard, of course, accepted. So yeah, that fulfills the Pact of Ice and Fire. And that's really all that matters to us. And uh, so, great. Um, we can now, yeah, as I said, move forward. We need to wait a little bit. People have also suggested that I might go ahead and... Oh, look at this. Lord Paramount Willa seeks to rescue Alistair Norcross from our captivity. Okay, you know what? If that's so important to you, let me uh, let me check one thing. Let's uh, let's be the nice guy and uh, release Alistair from uh, captivity. So that should make Willis Tyrell a little bit better, a little bit uh, happier. I don't know if that will actually make him like us. Probably not. He doesn't see that as something we've done for him. But that's okay. And he does want to get married. Alright, so Your Grace, I write to express my consternation at the face Lord Gunsa. And the fact, Lord Gunther Sunglass is a commander. Mm, Montfort wants to be a commander instead. Honestly, you've been kind of shaky. I mean, you've constantly... I, I've had you as commander before. You, you're constantly leaving, so... I don't know. We'll just impress him vaguely. Um, as I was saying, people have suggested that we... <laughs> Wait, don't we already have inventories? I feel like we already do. No? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll buy inventories. And, uh... Okay. Edmure envies our bravery. Okay, that's fine. A book written by Archmaester Thorgod, which stated the existence of 227 million steel blades. 
although some have since disappeared. Ah, great. But yeah, as I was saying, people suggested going to war with some of the free cities, uh, you know, one of them that would work quite well would be Pentos, where we could just emancipate them. Uh, yeah, that's obviously a possibility. We can do that. But, I, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do this. At least not right now. I think we want to wait until Summer Hall is built, because we're going to need our money for, for that. And holy shit, that is surprising. Elia Martel has died at the age 37. That's really not a whole... That's not really an age to die. Holy shit. Okay, wow. Now it falls onto you to decide whether to make the funeral a big and special event or just keep it a small and private. Well, we should we should make this uh, an actual funeral. And there we're going to have to spend some money. So, you know, that is that. But wow, okay. That is certainly problematic. Now we do still have a pact with the Prince of Dawn. So that's very good. Um, and he's obviously... Doran is still a hand of the king. We do need a new designated regent. Okay, wow. I would have not expected that. We do need a new wife. Who can we marry? Who can we marry? Probably can't marry anyone right now. Okay, right. We're currently widowed. So until that goes away. Alright, so who will you invite to the funeral of Aliyah Martel? Just the Martel family will be invited. That's Viserys and Rainies. Apparently not even our son. That would be a bit weird. My brother Viserys. Who has two stillbirths so far. With Ariana. Um, seems like the Dornish women are not really capable of producing many children. I mean, Alia and Ariana both are having issues. Seems. But anyways, the court of King Xanding, my vassals. All the lords and ladies of the realm. Uh, do, do we need... To invite everyone. I think, yeah, maybe. Even though that's expensive, I think we should. Alright, now. Uh, we do need a new Chancellor, Master of Laws. We could pick John Aaron. Um, and I think I will. Our Warden of the East, sure. Sure, let's pick John Aaron. Um, he's a capable man, and he does like us actually more than Doran, surprisingly. So there you go. Um... And we do need, yeah, designated regent. Very, very important. Now, who am I going to pick here? I could pick Doran, but I think instead, hmm, who am I going to pick? Who am I going to pick as designated regent? Basically, what, is, what does de designated regent mean? That is like protector of the realm sort of thing. Who would I want to be? Well, I mean, it could be my former lover. Actually, do we marry Elena now? Hold on. Or is she married? Wait, did I just give her that title? Oh man, I did. Uh, she is married to Sir Jacelyn Bywater. And... Yeah, but she's not... She doesn't seem to be pregnant again with him. So, let's actually revoke that only title. I don't want to make you designated regent. I'm sorry. Yeah, that makes her very upset. But that's just the way it is. Okay, um... Who else uh, could I potentially appoint? Not Edmure, not Stannis. Doran's already Hand of the King. Not Balon. Not John Aaron. Not Willis. The High Septon, maybe? I don't know if he'll approve of our incestuous marriage, so I don't think him. Hmm. George Martin certainly doesn't... <laughs> uh, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't like that. Renifer Longwaters. Willem Derry. You know what, Jora? Although Jora, damn it, man, you are not looking good. You're wounded. You're stressed out. You're depressed. What's going on? I could, I could make Viserys. Hmm. Dantas Hollard. Man, this is actually difficult. Um, I don't know if I trust Viserys to be honest. All right, you know what, Ariana. Ariana Martel. She's Viserys' wife, so I guess, you know, there's that. Hayamana. You know what? Hayamana is a title that I'm going to give to my former lover. Just because. She does deserve something. I would have married her now, but she was already married off. 
All right, now what's this? My scribe has provided me with the latest draft of my book. Upon reading it, I am not convinced it is moving in the right direction. I could perhaps ask the Septon of Dragonstone for advice on the matter. If nothing else, he is likely to feel flattered by it. Um, sure. We're either stressed, okay, or this is... This has a risk of lowering the quality of our work. Uh, let's ask him for his opinion. Let's see. It, it, there's just a risk. So, I think that's fine. We, could, we can try it. Okay, and... Let's set the crown focus on Summer Hall. Because that's definitely what we're focused on. For sure. Let's satisfy everyone's hunger. And there we go. So, time passes, yet... To me, the world seems unreal. It is if a life... Without Elia is but a mama's farce. I am lost in the sea of loneliness and know not where to turn. So drown ourselves in wine, women in song. I mean, we do love our harp. So the song makes sense, but I feel like this is not the right type of song. So we can become depressed, lose the trait withered, but only a 10% chance. Drunker, lustful, gl gluttonous, gregarious, fashionable. And we might even be wounded. Holy shit, man. Lose yourself in books, songs, and the wisdom of others. I think this is the one we're gonna go with. Yeah. 1% chance. Rhaegar gives up his worldly titles and becomes a maester. Holy shit. That would be absolutely insane. Now, we could seek solace in the arms of another, which would be... Hara. But that our children do not like. And Hara is actually Sir Aaron Drift's wife. So there you go. This is nonsense. Um, loses the trite kind. Okay, I think we're gonna lose us. I mean, did we really care about Elia all that much? Clearly not. Clearly not if... If we were after Lyanna. So, usually I would say this. You know what? I would have loved to have this option once Lyanna vanished. Because I think that would have been the point where we should have become depressed. Um, but I think with Elia, not really. I don't think we really care all that much. Like, we respected her as a, as a wife, maybe? Maybe? But I don't think it was true love. So, honestly, I think uh, I think we're going to go with this. Yeah, that's uh, going to make a Aegon disgruntled, but that's fine. I think we're just going to move on. So, we're no longer kind in that regard, but... You know what? We're also no longer widowed. So I feel like that was kind of worth it. And let's see who we can marry. We could marry Lady Tashara of Castamere. And Mariana of Storm's, Storm's End. Mariana Storm. Or Jonquil, the Lady of Dawn. Okay, yeah, I don't think we need another Dornish woman. I'm probably thinking about Lady Tashara of Castamere. Although she's 10 years old. Um, Let's... Okay, let's do the following. Let's maybe go for a... Let's maybe go for a betrothal here. With her and us. She's 10 years old. That's pretty young, but whatever. I think that's fine. So, we have the marriage with North and, you know, eventually Trident. John Aaron's on the council. We have alliance with Dawn. Stannis is on the council. He can't really act up. Uh, we'll have a marriage with the Lannisters, even though not necessarily the ones of Castle Rock. That's still fine. Don't really have anything to placate the Reach just yet, but maybe Ori's can marry into them and the Iron Islands. They don't matter at all, because who cares about the Ironborn, right? Okay, so we've got this betrothal with this Lady of Castamere. It's another ruin. Maybe we care about that. I don't think we're going to find a dragon egg there, but still, you know, maybe. Maybe something. Anyways, a wandering mince... Minstrel enter the castle. Sure, some entertainment, of course. Although, a little bit of money wouldn't be bad either. But yeah, Barth Catherine has a petition. He claims that Lord Brian Catherine sold his honor by having illicit relations with his wife. Oh, this is not exactly great because your brothers. No, yet. Yeah, wait, your. Hold on, your father? Your father has relationship. With... Okay. Yeah, that is strange. So, 
Byron has a 23-year-old wife, but he also has sex with his... Okay, that's so weird. He has a 23-year-old wife, but he's sleeping with the 37-year-old wife of his 25-year-old son. Because why not? Um, I don't think that's neat arresting. I think that's just a recompense. That's fine. Okay, you know what? We need this harvest now. Small reserve of grain. So this makes Starvation King's Landing during a harsh or normal winter three times more likely. Um, yeah, but we kind of don't really have the money right now. Let's save a little bit of cash here. All right, so John Aaron, uh, he thinks, oh, he claims Sir Peter barely sullied his honor by having illicit relations with his wife behind his back and a band's recompense for this slight. Uh, okay, so let's do this. There's a 70% chance that Peter Baelish is in prison. Now, here's the thing. Peter Baelish on the Kingsguard, uh, we basically accepted him because uh, Barristan the Bold wanted him, uh, wanted to have him. But it's pretty clear that Lysa has had some relations with him. But not only him, to be, to be fair, it's not just him. Because there's also Morgoth, and uh, that's with the Lord Florent. So, if we say he's not... Okay, so have him pay money. He actually has gold. I don't know where he's getting that money from. Is he going to pay gold? I mean, John Aaron is... You know, he's a he's a warden of the... He's a master of laws. Um, sure. John Aaron's going to be happy with that. Fine, we'll make him happy. 40 gold, that's really nothing. For sleeping with, with uh, you know, a little Pamount's wife. So I think, uh, Peter, you're fine. You still got money. You don't even need money. So I think that was cool. There's a funeral of Elia. So it is done. Elia Martel died of poor physique on, yeah, there you go. Uh, at the age of 37, she was a woman who was known to be compassionate as well as being most fair to look upon. Very good. And I guess now leave, leaving us without any money. Ah. But yeah, we can of course still do much good, as always. After giving my advice on a delicate matter, the courier asked me to accept a small gift of gold. Accept it reluctantly. Oh yeah, absolutely, we're gonna go with uh, Charitable here. Sure. For sure. Um, making our, increasing our diplomacy as well. And who just died? There was uh, Joa Lynx. Yeah, I kind of expected that, to be honest, because... I mean, he was having issues. I think he did not really... Man, I mean, he he just, it was too tough for him that his uh, his two sons died stillborn. And uh, I don't know what happened to him afterwards, but like, yeah, that was certainly not amazing. Okay, your friends, that's good. Um, all right, so you have four-year-old. We're definitely going to make sure to keep an eye on you. I'll, I'll make sure that you are trained properly. Uh, but we'll have to wait two years before I can assign another guardian. Okay. Uh, Dantos the Oppressor. Ask him to not be in factions. Sure, why not? Um, but he refused. Okay, well that also means that we need a new advisor. Who am I going to pick now? Who am I going to pick as advisor? Certainly none of my rivals. Vorian Dane. I mean, he's already our uh, command of the gold cloaks. I could pick Viserys as an advisor. Sure, why why not? Let's pick Viserys. I mean, he's family anyways, right? So that, that, that must count for something. Even if he is maybe a lunatic. But yeah, so there we go. So, still no news from Summer Hall. Uh, someone else died. Olivia. Okay, that was... Why do we get notifications about those random people? It's really strange. But yeah... Okay, so we're in a little bit of a deficit right now, but I think Stannis will find a way to uh, make us some money. And um, Peter Baelish <laughs> had some issues with John Arryn, but that was resolved by paying 40 gold. So yeah, John Arryn clearly values time with his wife, uh, certainly. But yeah, that was that. I hope that um, we've appeased all the great houses uh, so far. I mean, we do have uh, packs with the Starks, the Martells, and perhaps we can actually get one with... Lancel here. 
No, it doesn't seem to be the case. But maybe in the future. Either way, for now, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.